Hello guys and welcome back to episode number two of your favorite Quebec City team, the Quebec City Dragons. So today we'll be doing a little bit of simming. So I'm going to be doing a couple, I think I'm going to be doing two real time sim games though. I really want to see our rookie Latinen get his first career goal. So you know what, we're going to hop into this video, we're going to hop into the gameplay straight away. So this is our second game at home. This is against the St. Louis Blues. We got a loss last game, or last video. We um, we actually outshot Anaheim all game, but we still couldn't get past uh, Gibson, so it was too bad. But our team's been performing pretty well in the real-time sim. There we go. We get a power play. Our power play's been hot this year, but we can't pull one in there. We're out shooting St. Louis so far, but it's 0-0 at the end of the first. Both boys playing pretty well so far. Come on, Quebec. Power play. Another one. Oh my god. We can't score right now. Something's wrong with our team. We're getting so many shots. We're out shooting these teams, but we just can't put one in. Come on, Quebec. Five minutes left in the second. Can we break the tie? Alright, third period. 0-0. Zero, zero. Defensive game. Which we should be expecting from our Quebec team. Since their defense is really good. 5 on 3. 5 on 4. Come on. Oh my god, another power play. That we can't capitalize on. There we go. Eric Gustafson, our third line defenseman. He breaks the scoring tie on Bennington. And we can't score another power play. Come on, 37 shots to 20. Oh my god, Ryan O'Reilly ties it up with 44 seconds left. And we're going into overtime after shooting St. Louis 38 to 22. Damn, we, oh my god, they got away with that one. They are so lucky. Alright, I'll see you guys in overtime. All right, here we go. Overtime against St. Louis. And St. Louis wins the draw. Ryan O'Reilly gets it, but we wreck him. Now there's a two-on-one. Nick Bonino has it. Oh, they catch up, though. Oh, no. Bonino passed it off the skate. And now O'Reilly has a break to Buchnevich. What a save. What a save by our goalie. Ryan O'Reilly passed it back. Buchnevich, Paranko in front. And Jake Allen robs him again. Oh, we turned it over. Terrible turnover. There we go. Good job, Pionk. Oh, my God. Jake Allen saves the game. And now we're on a break. Pionk shoots it. But it's a save by Bennington. Get the second line on. Wow. Jeez, my God. Jake Allen keeps us in the game. And we are still tied in overtime. Two minutes remaining in the period. Come on. Kempe and Pilat on. D'Angelo turns it over. These turnovers are nuts right now. There we go. Kempe grabs it back, though. And now Kempe gives it to D'Angelo. D'Angelo on the wing. He cuts in. Looking. Shoot. Scores. Tony D'Angelo scores his first goal of the regular season. And for the Quebec City Dragons. And we win in overtime. Our first ever overtime win against the St. Louis Blues. I'll see you guys after the game. All right, guys. Just took a big W against the St. Louis Blues. So let's get into this one against Buffalo too. This is only their second game this season. We've played three. This is going to be our fourth. So hopefully you can take advantage of a Buffalo team that isn't very well prepared yet. We're getting a damn. We're getting really outshot against Buffalo. We have not came to play yet this game. There we go. Now we're getting some shots on. Come on, Quebec. Come on, Quebec. Damn it. Aspen scored. But then Ricard Raquel gets one right back on Craig Anderson. There we go. All right, it's a 1-1 tie going into the second period. Come on. Goudreau's been a little quiet the past couple of games, so hopefully they can pick it up. R our rookie still hasn't scored his first goal yet, but Jack Roslovich scores, and it's 2-1 for your Quebec City Dragons. Come on. There you go. Raquel again, second goal of the game, and it's from the side of the arena, side of the ice. I don't know how that one scored. I don't know how that one went in, especially since he's a righty. So it was probably crazy backhand, <laughs> crazy backhand on the goal line. Come on, three to one in the third period. Oh, Mark Pissick gets one. He went back to Buffalo. Oh, five on three. Dang it! Dylan Cousins scores on Allen. Allen's done three goals this game. We're being outshot a ton. Come on, Dragons. Power play. Oh, we can't get a power play. Come on, man. 50 seconds left. Okay, we're going to overtime. 3-3 three, three tie. Second overtime game in a row. Let's see what happens. Alright, guys. Overtime is underway. Buffalo wins the faceoff. Gives it to Pissick. 
Alex Cuck shoots and it's saved. So we have our alternate jerseys on this game, which is pretty cool. So hopefully we can win with them. Oh, oh my god. Bodies flying everywhere in the corner. Pyong turns it over to Tuck. Big save by Allen. There you go. And Allen passed it out to ensure we get the puck. Now Benino has it. He walks in the zone. Gives it to Goudreau. Goudreau with a snapshot. Anderson saves it and throws it out to Getzlav. Now there's Getzlav and Tuck on the rush. Tuck goes into the corner. Stops up. And Nick Benino with a good defensive play to take it away. But Benino's being pressured at the boards and he turns it over to Tuck. Now Mark Pesic has it. The one who tied it up, I'm pretty sure. He has it. He blows by the defenseman. He's looking. Gives it right in front. But it's saved. And now we have it and turn it over again. The turnovers have been insane in our, in our games that we've gone in. Now Jeff Skinner. Jeffrey Skinner turns it over to Pilat. And now Kempe. Kempe and Pilat have it. Kempe, Pilat scores! It's over! Andre Pilat with a snipe. And we've won two overtime games now. We are clutch, and we are 3-1 and one to start off the year. Big win. See you guys out of the game. All right, guys, so we're going to start simming after that big win. So what I'm going to do is after, I'm going to sim like half a month, and then I'll stop it. I'll put back on the video, and I'll give you guys like a recap of what all happened. So I think it's a little better than just watching me sim through everything because that's super, super boring. So I'll tell you guys after we're done. All right, guys. So this month is over. We had a decent month, seven and five. Not great though. We started off obviously. You guys watched three and one. Then we got two losses straight, but then four straight wins, and then two straight losses again. So I'll show you guys all the stats of our players so far this season. As you can see, Johnny Goudreau leading the way, almost point per game, ten points, twelve games, which not bad. Not bad. We'll take it. He's negative two, so we would like that to be a little better. Anders Lee, 10 points in 12 games. It's really good. Benino, 9 points, 12 games. There you go. Palat. Gerard's been having an amazing season. Kempe's doing good. Raquel. So all these guys are doing pretty solid. Latinen's doing okay his first season. And goalies. Jake Allen, 907 save percentage. Kind of meh. And then Vanacek's doing good with his 915 save percentage. So, I'll send another half month. I'll tell you guys how it goes. Alright guys, another rough month. I mean, we're doing alright. 11, 8, and 1. But not as good as I want us to be doing. And we're letting up way too many goals for how good our defense is. So, 4-1 win, 2-1 overtime loss, a 5-2 loss, 6-2 loss. Then, 2-3-2 two, two wins right there. 5-2 win and a 4-1 loss. So, I guess that was an okay stretch. But, letting up way too many goals. And I think we'll try to make a line change right now. See if we can fix this, because it's... It's really bugging me. Our off or our defense is amazing. Like, what we got went into the game, it's rated 95, but we still can't. Um, what's it called? We just can't buy a like. We can't catch a break. It's so annoying. I don't know why we're doing so bad. Like negative five on this plus five line. Like, how is this happening? So you know what? I think moving Grizzly up. I'll do. Actually, I think last time. That got up. Ah, uh, no. Huh. Gerard. Maybe Gustafson could go. No. I'm just scared to move this because then it gets rid of. You know what? We'll do this. We'll try it. There you go. Pionk and D'Angelo there. All right. Let's go now. Here, I'll, I'll show you guys a few games simming with our new lines. So I'll probably do the first three games. Who are they against? Tampa, Montreal, LA. Come on, boys. Let's get a couple wins here. Tampa's amazing. Indivis in, uh, divisional opponent. There we go. There's a 2-1 to one win. That's big. Alright, against Montreal now. Oh, Fax is injured. Dang it. Okay, Montreal. 2 nothing loss. Like, how are we getting shut out by the Canadians? Come on. Okay, Fax is back. 4 nothing win against LA. Alright, now I'm going to start simming. See you guys after we're done. Alright guys, another month done. But we are consistent. And consistently average. 6-4 loss to Tampa. A nice shootout win there against Carolina. Carolina's a really good team. Well, actually, I guess not. I thought they were. They were when we beat them. 
a loss to Minnesota, a loss to Toronto, two teams that weren't doing very good. Then a loss to San Jose. San Jose is amazing this year somehow. We beat Seattle, lost to Pittsburgh, a nice little win against Vancouver, T uh, tough loss against Washington. We destroyed New Jersey, lost against Calgary, beat uh, the Kraken again. Loss against Chicago. That was a tough loss because Chicago's been doing awful this year. Um, and then a loss against Philadelphia. So that was that was definitely a bad month. I did not did not like what we saw that month. And I'm gonna change up some lines. That first line is not working right now. Not liking it. It's really frustrating. So Leighton is gonna go down. It's not producing. I'm gonna move Raquel up to that first line. Raquel's been having a good season. Um, you know what? Roslovic. Roslovic is going to get a chance to play on the second line. And then Leitonen is going to go down to the third line with Kempe and Atkinson. So I like that a little better. Hopefully, 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 we can start to do a little better. So I'm going to sim one more month. Then, next video, we're going to have the Olympics. All right, guys. What a month for our team. The Quebec City Dragons step it up. We get seven, no, six straight wins. We lose against Anaheim, get another two against Toronto and Winnipeg, two pretty good teams. Then we lose to Detroit, lose against Islanders, and then beat the Avalanche, beat the Blues again, beat Washington, and we get a loss against Minnesota. But a beautiful bounce back month, and I'm hyped about that. I'm hyped about that. We're about to go into our, what's it called, our Olympic break. Goudreau stepped it up. After the Latinans went down, everyone's went to pluses, so that's good. Bonino, Lee, all these guys are doing well. All of them doing well. Raquel's doing pretty good. Where is Latinan? Okay, Latinan not having a good season his first year. But that's okay. I didn't expect too much out of him, but it's all right. Allen's having a really good year. 24 wins, 13 losses, 3 overtime losses, but a shutout, and he has a 914 save percentage. So, guys, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Next video, make sure you turn it, tune in because there will be an, a crazy, 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 crazy Olympics. So, actually, you know what? I'll give you guys a treat. Before we end this, let's check the entire standings for the entire NHL so we can see who we think the Olympic players will be. Entire league. McDavid, there's McDavid leading the league in points. Behind him is Crosby. Joe Pavelski, wow, what a season, holy crap. Alexander Barkov's up there, Ovechkin, Malkin, Huberto, Kucherov, drives out all the guys you'd expect, usually Matthews. Yanni Gord, wow, Yanni Gord's going off. Lucas Raymond, he'll make the Swedish team, that's insane. Kevin LeBanc, too. Oh my god, Casey Middlestat, Team USA. <laughs> so many guys are going insane. Damn, Sorelli's even up there. A lot of these guys. Goudreau's there. Okay, John Gibson leading the league as the goaltender. Kevin Lankinen also having a great year. Bobrovsky's doing well. Jake Allen up there too. He's having a good year. Carey Price having a beautiful year. Carey Price right now, probably the second best goaltender in the league right now in our universe. So that's crazy. There's Jari, Shesterkin, all those guys. Goalies are having a great year this year. So that'll do it now. Thank you all for watching. Tune in for the Olympics. I'll see you guys next episode. Peace out.